Hurricane Chris throwing shots at 50 Cent. This over humor and harmony weekend where 50 paid 500K for security. Gave the police force 500K just to make sure nothing popped off and it'll be a good event. Hurricane Chris say the people needed that. Like, give it to the people, the kids. Give it, give it back, bro. Why give it to the cops? They don't need nothing more. On top of that, you come down here and exploit the land, you're only here because the land cheap and you don't put no Louisiana acts on the show. It's not true, bro. It's not true. It's not true. Look, Fredo Bang was on the show. Fredo even responded like, shit, Chris. Well, he say, Kane, Kane. You know what I mean? Who am I then, bro? You know what I mean? Who am I? Look, he got some good points about what he's saying. It's just like if this was Diddy or somebody, but this 50. Give 50 a chance, man. 50 bringing all type of opportunities to Shreveport, bro. He bringing all opportunities to Shreveport, Louisiana. You throw a motherfucking concert in Louisiana and don't book no Louisiana legends and put no bankroll in no Louisiana legends pocket, but you pay the police a half a million dollars. What type of shit is that? Nigga, you ain't f***ing with my city, nigga. You taking advantage of my city, nigga, because shit cheap and, and, and it costs way less than it costs where you from. And y'all stupid slow so crazy that y'all gonna let this nigga come down here and die, not show no love to Louisiana. This nigga ain't booked no Louisiana artist. This nigga didn't even go to Baton Rouge and get no no boosies or nothing, no weddings. Like us. Shreveport had cheap ass land. He came and bought that shit and the nigga don't give a f*** about fucking with us. And he just showed you that by paying the police a half a million dollars when we got young niggas out here starving. When we got young niggas out here killing each other. That f money could have went to anything to help the youth. We don't need more money invested into the police, nigga. We need more money money invested into the community we need who know the community who know the people who willing to put their feet on the ground to make a difference with their influence your money nigga. we don't care nothing about it nigga. it was a major concern for many as thousands gathered in downtown treeport for humor and harmony over the weekend we gave you the first alert this week earlier this week that no violent crimes were reported all weekend long the shreveport city attorney says it's safe to say curtis 50 cent jackson will be paying nearly five hundred thousand dollars to cover the cost of law enforcement during humor and harmony the shreveport police department partnered with several local law enforcement agencies to keep the people of shreveport safe during the festival yeah you know it was a a smart thing to do. It was a smart choice to move his shit to Shreveport, the land cheap. Yeah, we know. He, nobody's a fool, you know what I mean? But he's not exploiting the land, people. He wants to be part of the South. Let him be part of the South and let give it some time. Look, Rome wasn't built overnight, bro. It wasn't built overnight, but I guarantee you, the money that 50 is about to bring into Louisiana, drop it in the comments. It's going to change some shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's going to change some shit, bro, so give him a chance. Like I said, Hurricane Chris, bro, he got good points. If he was talking about a different nigga, now 50 Cent just cut different, bro. Give him a chance, you know what I mean? Hurricane Chris, he didn't know you, bro. Like he say over that one song, look, 50 responded. 50 say, uh, <laughs> look, 50 say, uh, so what you wanted me to put you on the show with that one song, that baby? Look, <laughs> Hurricane Chris, like, bro, just see, you made my point. You disrespect Louisiana, you don't know. You didn't even bring Webby. Look, I'm going to start there. I'm going to start here, bro. Hurricane Chris, like, he had a hell of a wave. Hurricane Chris could spit. But this just shows you, bro, the South don't do enough for the South that the North don't even respect us, you know what I mean? Yeah, you could be popping in the South and nobody know you're in the North, you know what I mean? It's just how it go, bro. I don't even think 50 just mean no disrespect, but, you know, once you start trolling him, he got to say something and he gonna hit you where it hurt. He say, nigga, your shit whack, that shit gets no play in this ride, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I don't think it's gonna go nowhere. I think both of these two got a head on their shoulders, bro. So if they really sat down, I feel like they can make something happen, bro, and, and they could see where each other coming from. But communication rules the nation, bro. You know what I mean? You can't just come out the gate like that, bro. That's that's no way no. You know what I mean? That's no way no, bro. No way no. Um, Squads from the playground, bro. Drop it in the comments where you think this situation going. Uh, I don't think it's really going nowhere, bro, because I, I, I just feel like they both got sense, man. But, yeah, 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 we're going to see what. We're going to see what, how it unfolds.
If they throw it, I'ma catch it to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap, people tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chill, it gotta be about business. WAC 100 slams Dr. Umar. He says he's an idiot and he has video footage to prove it. Look, WAC 100, bro, I don't think you can call nobody an idiot. Uh, Dr. Umar Johnson is far from an idiot. You know what I mean? He's far from an idiot. I'm not always so nice to him, you know what I mean? Because I don't relate to everything he speaks, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't say the man an uh, idiot. I wouldn't say he's an idiot, bro. Uh, he, he, they see, he's saying he's a con artist. He accepts the donations, but where are they going? He can't see the school. He can't see no progress with the school. He said it's just a place for crackheads. And look, uh, I heard it is a building. You know what I mean? It is a building there. Um, yeah, it is a building there. Like when you talk about school, it ain't just about, you think it's just about building a building and I mean, you got to have a lot of funds to make this school really accredited. That's what y'all don't understand, bro. You think it's about just putting some paint on the walls and saying this is the school, like it's the 50s. This ain't what that is, bro. Not black people idiot. say hate. Video footage coming. Idiot seems like an exaggeration. No, Even if not. you disagree with him on a whole host of things, he's not an idiot. Dude's a con artist. That school <laughs> is for the dope fiends drug addicts. But you can't just invalidate everything he's ever said because Whoa. it's not he's full of drug addicts. It just doesn't exist, right? No, it's there. Where's all the donations going? School. We need some accountability. Rome wasn't built in a day. Yeah, but goddamn, it was being built. Umar City wasn't built in a day. It was being built. You probably could have witnessed it being it built. It was being built. <laughs> yeah. And guess what? It's existed for a long time. Right, yeah. So, right? Yeah. So, dude, and he makes our people look weak. Everything is what people can't do. Nah, bro, put everybody in the race. One day I think his school will open. I think it will open, bro. We got so many people with money that's pro-black, that follow the same shit Umar follows, that could easily donate some money and make this school happen. But sure is a real um, layout of the school, bro. Umar, that's a challenge to you. Sure is a real layout of the school. And continue, like, uh, elaborate on what this school will offer. Because if it's just offering pro-black qualities and all that type of shit, and that's like reverse racism to some people, bro. It's not going to make the school happen. So what is this school about? Let's start there. If you know anything about what he is, the mission statement of the school, drop it in the comments. Drop it in the comments. Because I can't say WAC 100 totally wrong. I can just say, the, you know, he going too hard. You know what I mean? And he definitely go way too hard on black people sitting right there with Adam 22 when Adam 22 taking up for black people more than he is. Adam like, no, 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 no. Wack like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wack 100, you gotta chill out, bro. You gotta chill out. We know you don't like the skin that you're in, you know what I mean? But you in it, you know what I mean? You in it till it's over, bro. So just stop that. He say Dr. Umar is an idiot, a con man, stealing donations and all this. Well, doc, uh, look, Dr. Umar don't wear shit but dashikis, bro. Don't, ain't, don't never dress good. I don't know how he living. Don't matter. Everybody sh uh, deserves to live good in here. Even the preacher man take that money home. You know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, don't understand that this shit don't happen overnight. I said it once. I said it before. Rome was not built overnight, bro. So get a man a little time. You know what I mean? Get a man a little time and have faith that somebody is trying to do something different, bro. Even if it never happens, man. Even if it never happens, the shit that man speak and who he's trying to be, we need it in this world, bro. So Dr. Umar, keep going. WAC 100, you got to stop, bro. You got to slow down, man. You got to slow down, real shit. For them little incredible diapers start giving babies rashes and they start trashing them motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Chill, bro. Be humble. Sit down. You know how you like that West Coast shit? You know what I mean? Be humble, sit down, bro. Sit your big ass down. And don't lay down, because last time you had three up the butt. <laughs> no diddy. Pause. <laughs> Look, scars from the playground, man. Like, share, subscribe, bro. We out. If they throw it, I'm a catcher to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chill. It gotta be about business. Trenches news.
was friends with FBG Duck and the whole FBG Duck gang. Look, give me a second, bro. Just give me a second, because I don't even know how to take this in. Which is news. Swiper. Do you know him personally? Yeah. How do you know, how do you know Trench's news? He's be around us. Okay. He claimed that him and Duck were roommates at one point. Let me see. I mean, do I remember that? He probably talking about that Boosie career. He's, you know, he's always around that Boosie career, so it's possible. Shit, he was around all the time. How did you feel about Trench's news taking the stand? That shit shocked me. I ain't going to lie. They said some shit about him being a informant since, like, 2008 or some shit like that. Right. Yeah, that shit, it threw me off. Like, he been around. When I came around, he was around. So when I heard... And start seeing that shit, it threw me off. I ain't gonna lie, like, it really, like, the fuck? So he was part of FBG while simultaneously being a criminal informant and getting paid. Look, bro, uh, this is crazy. Drop it in the comments if you know anything about this. Like, I thought they didn't know Trenches News. Yeah, when he was the masked man on the internet, everybody act like they didn't know his identity. Now, they all know Trenches knew. They always been hanging with him. They say, well, he didn't snitch on me. You know what I mean? Uh, this is wild, bro. Um, Chicago, y'all built different, bro. Y'all built different. To say it's all that killing going on down there, bro. I can't believe it's all that squealing too. You know what I mean? But I guess it come with it, bro. The streets are a myth. Yeah, yeah, the streets are a myth, bro. Drop it in the comments. Man, what is this? That, that, is this why King Vaughn was saying he was not from 63rd, bro? Did he know something? Come, did he know something, bro? Trench's news was friend. He was roommates. Let's say that. He would say he was roommates at one point with FBG Duck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, FBG Butter allegedly used to sleep under his bed. You know what I mean? <laughs> when, when FBG Butter was out there tripping on them pills, he probably was doing all type of shit. So I don't know if that part of the story is true. But, bro, what's going on? What's going on, bro? This is why you got to uh, be weary of the company you keep. You know what I mean? You be a snitch the whole time while y'all doing drills and he cool with K.I. And come on, bro. But snitching and getting paid for it, made a living from snitching? Even after they found out Trenches knew what the snitch, bro, and we finally seen his face, the man so damn ugly, he still won't take the damn mask off. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Come on, dog. But, yeah, yeah, drop it in the comments, man. What's going on in Chicago, in Chi-Town? You know what I mean? That this criminal informant had been friends and roommates with one of Chicago's toughest. Yeah. I'm not saying this. I'm not making it up. If I'm lying, I'm flying. As you can see, I'm still on the ground. Look, scars from the playground, man. Peace. If they throw it, I'ma catch it to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap, people tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chill, it gotta be about business. Hey, this real. YG uniting gangs in Compton. Yeah, yeah, they went on a truce walk, bro. A truce walk. Uh, they put everything to the side. They've been beefing for years. The treetop pyrus and the fruit town pyrus. I didn't see Chris Brown there. I didn't see uh, Soldier Boy there, but somebody put Soldier Boy out the way and told him he wasn't from Fruit Town anyway. You know what I mean? But yeah, they went on a little walk, bro. Ended up getting hungry. You know, they're walking, builds an appetite, so they stopped at the infamous Tans Burger. You might have seen Tans Burger on K Dot, uh, new video, Not Like Us, where you get the free burgers for life. But yeah, yeah, they stopped at Tans Burger, got them something to eat, you know what I mean? And they got back on their walk, you know what I mean? What? This is cool, bro. This is cool. This is some real shit. And YG wouldn't be YG if he didn't wear dress shoes and jeans out there. You know what I mean? I don't know what he be doing with that little style. You know what I mean? But that's his style. Bro, you got to be yourself, man. It's 2024, bro. Tyler, the creator, throwing shots at new rappers. Yeah, he say they not musicians. They all mean rappers. Yeah, mean rappers, bro. They ain't really talking about shit. No real storytelling. No real art of nothing. You know what I mean? Uh... He got a point, bro. Everybody get the damn auto tune and get the singing on it. They want to do the Roddy Rich and the uh, Roy Wave all the time, which I respect both of them cats. You know what I mean? But 
like, man, let's bring it back to music, bro. Uh, Dewey got a point, man. Drop it in the comments, bro. Yeah, yeah, Tyler the Creator got a point. If you don't know Tyler, bro, Tyler be really rapping on this shit. Yeah, he be with the weird shit. He be with the weird shit. It's L.A., man. Uh, it's L.A. He just be having fun, bro. I don't know. They say he a fun boy. I don't know all that. I just know Tyler the Creator could rap his ass off. Let's just be real. So when he telling you this about the new musicians, don't knock the man. Don't hate. Just go back to the drawing board and write some shit that matters and come back and spit it and stop all that chatter. Marlon Wayne's throwing shots at DJ Vlad. Look, Vlad wanted to interview Marlon. Marlon wanted $40,000 for the interview plus 30% of future revenue. Look, Vlad say, bro, you're not worth it. Every time you come out, you only get 100 to 300K views. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. it I'll be just wasting money on you. You know what I mean? Well, Marlon Wayans didn't like that. He say he want what he want. That Vlad got a problem with a black man asking him for what he want. Uh, that the people love him more than they do Vlad. Hey, Marlon Wayans, bro, at one point that was true. You know what I mean? At one point they was true. But we ain't going to take no respect from DJ Vlad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the man ain't got his ass whooped and all type of shit to be part of this game, bro. So put some respect on Vlad's name, bro. If the man say he not paying you 40K, bro, he not paying you 40K. And y'all supposed to be millionaires anyway, bro. When did money really start mattering so much to A-listers? Main music will be released from prison in two weeks. Really 1.5, man. Spider Gang, half of Spider Gang, half of the duo is getting out. So these two going to be reunited. I can't wait to see what Tank, Tech and Main Music do together. Drop it in the comments if you know Tech, if you know Main Music. Uh, they be spitting, bro. If you just seen this recent Say Cheese interview, um, Main Music came out and just let everybody know he good and he coming out to actually change some shit, bro. He not trying to lead the youth wrong. He trying to do it strong. But yeah, last time I seen that boy, he had a gun bigger than his whole body. But yeah, uh, he spit a freestyle, bro. It, it was straight. What can you expect? It's from prison over the phone. Everybody ain't tore it. You know what I mean? But the shit was real, bro. And I could tell he really got his head on his shoulders, bro. So we're going to see where this goes. This 2024, niggas ain't beefing no more, bro. We're trying to get money. Wack 100 throwing shots at Meek Mills. Look, Meek Mills say he from the trenches. Wack 100 say he get disgusted every time he hear Meek say that. You are not from the trenches, he says. He's from Philadelphia, true. But the trenches, look, I, I don't know what Wack talking about on that part, you know what I mean? But he say, besides that, he told on the game. He told the governor on academics. Uh, he be pillar talking to Michael Rubin about black culture. Um, mm, then had a sexual relationship, allegedly, with Diddy. Um, yeah, I get why he throwing salt on him and, and, and throwing shots, but you know what? Meek ain't went nowhere, you know what I mean? Meek ain't went nowhere. Look, Meek been having them transy lips for years, bro, so I always seen something sweet in that boy, you know what I mean? But it didn't stop him from getting fans and it don't stop him from making money. So really, it don't matter what a person says about you, bro. All these people could die today or tomorrow. Blue Da Vinci discovered Young Jeezy. Yeah, he say he discovered him broke down in the old school park ave in the Magic City parking lot. Like, who was that cat? You know what I mean? But the cat could actually rap, so they got down and that was Jeezy. You know what I mean? They took him everywhere. Meech paid the DJs 3K to 5K to play Young Jeezy everywhere. You know what I mean? Had it like he was moving. Uh, Jeezy seen the jewelry they was wearing, so he like, man, I got to get some of that. Meech bought that man a 100K chain, bro. $100,000 in jewelry just to make him look the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when Meech caught the double homicide, uh, they say Jeezy flaked out on him. Didn't want to have no parts of it. Yeah, yeah, didn't want to have no parts of it. He just wanted to be a rapper. You dig? Well, look, that's sometimes that's how it go. Well, if he wasn't really with the criminal shit, he rapped about it. He rapped about it. It went far for it. But if he wasn't with the criminal shit, bro, he didn't have to be. He was with the music, bro. If this is what y'all want to do, man, you know what I mean? Like, even that I'm, I'm not snitching. I'm not snitching. I'm just falling back. So, look, we can't blame Jeezy for that. But Blue Da Vinci be on Jeezy ass. Look, Jeezy never said he wasn't BMF. You know what I mean? Jeezy never said he wasn't BMF. He never told us why he left either. But 
at the end of the day, bro, if you leave to keep your freedom while you really wrong, man, drop it in the comments, bro. Drop it in the comments, man. Yeah, yeah, Jeezy. Jeezy, young Jeezy. I think he stayed real the whole time over all these years, bro. Uh, corporate thugging. That's what he wanted to be. You know what I mean? <laughs> he been telling you that. So with y'all really putting in work in the street and shit and everybody getting locked. Man, come on, look all the time Big Meats and Southwest T did, bro. He just didn't want no parts of it. Blue Da Vinci didn't really do that. I think he only did about five years. But you know, he ain't the same cat. He ain't rapping. Nobody checking for his music or nothing else like that. You know what I mean? It's good to watch him on the interview. But, you know, I think Jeezy uh, made the right decision, bro. Yeah, yeah, I think Jeezy made the right decision. <laughs> Drop it in the comments what you think, bro. Should he have stayed with Big Meech and went to jail too? Would you respect him more or did he do the right thing, man? Scars from the playground, bro. We into doing the right thing here. Cause we too legit to quit it. Peace. J. Cole gives young fans $500 for selling candy. Look, they were selling juju beans. They only wanted $1.25 for the juju beans. But he said, you know what? Come here, man. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. He gave me about three or four of them. Gave me $500, you know what I mean? $500, don't even want the candy. I'm going to give you $500 in the convo. $500 in the conversation, bro. J. Cole is being praised for this, for being so genuine. So genuine, bro. They say all this shit about him, him not wanting to go to war with people. Yeah, it's all passed over, bro. Nobody care about that. The whole beef is just bullshit. Uh, I heard a Tory Lane song that was better than both of the K-Dot and Drake songs. You know what I mean? Doing the beef that he did from prison. Uh, let's just be real, bro. The beef wasn't what everybody expected. You know what I mean? And I'm glad he got out of it. But yeah, be yourself, J. Cole. This is why the people love you, bro. This is... You know, if you out there selling candy, you need the money. So if you see these stars, bro, and they come up and bless you with 500, you don't know what that just did for that family, bro. You might have got the lights back on. You might have made them eat good for a week. Might even a day, bro. If they blew the money that same day, who cares? Man, you gave somebody the gift, the greatest gift ever, happiness. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, happiness. He gave the greatest gift ever, bro. Drop it in the comments, man. This is why people like J. Cole, and this is why he's well-respected. Don't care about the money. He was just shopping for super trucks, bro, but still on the bike. You know, I don't even know if he bought the damn super truck. He probably went over there just to check him out. You know what I mean? It, it's nice to see. You know, he probably didn't want it. You know what I mean? Like, nah, you know what? I'm good on this beach cruiser. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm good on this 10-speed. But, yeah, yeah, J. Cole, bro. Keep doing you, man. Look, it's a cold world, bro. I'm ready for that new cold to come out. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear him talking about no sex and all that other stuff. I want to hear him talking about that real shit, like the warm-up, bro. He do that shit like the warm-up, man. It's all over. Precision. <laughs> Scars from the playground, man. Drop it in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Peace. If they throw it, I'm a catcher to play the game like Tetris. I'm one of a kind rap. People tell me I'm a clip. I've been working 24 hours, summertime to win them. I ain't really at the chili, gotta be about business.